Sunday. These are my favorite vlogs to film, to watch. Just a happy self-care Sunday, relaxing. I'm actually outside of my nail place right now because my nails are so grown out and like chipped and need to be fixed. So we'll probably go with the same light pink like I always do. I'm very boring. But I feel like on these Sundays where I get my nails done, I love to do it on a Sunday because, I don't know, it's just good vibes. I always have a routine of like getting my dirty chai latte after. And today it is 90 degrees out. Like it's so dang hot and sunny. And our pool opened at our apartment complex. So hopefully I get some relaxation in the sun for a swim. And yeah, it's just gonna be a fun, relaxing Sunday. Okay, let's go get our nails done. So you can hear me just finished getting my nails done. They look so much better. I would prefer them a little longer maybe, but that's on me. My bad because they are just short from like two times ago, two nail appointments ago. I got tips on my nails and so my nails, my natural nails were so short and so this past time they grew out but like not enough for like how long I normally have them. But I missed my like almond sort of oval shape because I had square last time because they're so short from the time before. Do you guys care? Does that make any sense? So yeah, I asked for almond. You know what? You guys do care because whenever I post a photo of my nails, everyone's like, oh my gosh, what do you ask for? I ask for almond shape, oval shape, whatever, a natural light pink on my natural nails and it's dip powder case you're wearing. So it's just like a natural light pink color. And my girl Tina here at Nail Play just knows like the pink that I get every time. Now I'm so boring that I get the same thing every time, but I'm like dying of heat. It's so hot out. Only I would wear a sweatshirt in <laughs> 90 degree weather like can I not and I'm out of water so that's fun because I it's so hot out I'm so thirsty so I need to like zip over to Starbucks quick to get my dirty chai since that's what I always do after I get my nails done and hopefully a big big old ice water too because it's so hot out I need to get to the pool and like go swimming right now the drive through line today is not bad at all usually this one is like wrapped all the way around if you guys live here oh gosh what is my window you know if you know you know this is the best Starbucks a little bit out of the way but honestly worth it because I just love this Starbucks I don't know why it's like new and pretty and the workers are really nice if you live here you know what I mean hello thank you for choosing Starbucks how are you today good how are you doing great thanks what can I get started for you could I do a venti iced chai latte with almond milk. Got it. Anything else for you? Could I do two shots of espresso in there as well? You got it. Anything else for you? And then, could I just do like a venti ice water? Sure. Gotta stay hydrated. Perfect. Yes. Especially Anything today. <laughs> That's it. Thank <laughs> you. He knows. It's freaking... Guys, it's so hot out. That just made me so hot and got my car so much hotter having the window open. Like, that's how hot it is right now. I just <laughs> went to go drink my water and it's freaking empty. Sorry for those of you watching that live in, like, Florida or Arizona or, I don't know, somewhere where it's really hot all the time because I just, I don't know how you do it. Like, I've never been to Arizona, which is so random. But in my mind, it's always, like, 100 degrees there. Is that right? Can someone tell me if you live there? Is that accurate? In my mind, it's just, like, the desert. I would say California, but no, because when we were just in Laguna Beach, it was is colder than it is here. I think just being like by the ocean. But I remember being in like Sacramento and it being like a million degrees every day. So I guess it kind of depends. Anyway, it's enough about the weather. I wonder if they can see my camera up here on the dashboard. They're probably like, what is she doing? What was this red mark on my face? Did I like scratch myself? Hmm. Hi, Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing good. I love the try. It's so good. So good. Thank you. Thank you. Here's that water for you. Perfect. Thank you, you too. That was so quick. I cannot wait. Oh my god, this is so good. Sit stiff. For some reason, chai lattes on a Sunday morning. Mm -mm. I wonder if I'm gonna see Max drive by. He told me he was coming to the Nordstrom Rack here, I think. Maybe he's looking for shoes, I think. And it's like right across the way, so I wonder if I'm gonna see him like drive by. How funny. You guys need this. So I feel like normally if you get like a dirty and de iced chai latte, it would come with three shots of espresso, but I don't want to like shake. I just want like a little kick in the butt, but I don't want to like be shaking and anxious, you know? I mean, I probably still will be because I know the chai itself has caffeine plus the espresso, so. Look who it is! <laughs> I knew I was going to drive by him. <laughs> he didn't even see it was me. 
I'm laughing so hard right now. I thought he was gonna like slow down, like roll down his window, like nothing. And then I called him just now and we were both dying laughing because he thought I was at a different Starbucks so that I'd be coming from a different way. And I'm like, no, I fully knew I was gonna like pass you because we were coming and going from the same place. My little biker short, like sports bra set. I don't even know if you can see before I take them off because I'm about to run in and throw on my bathing suit since I want to go to the pool. But they're just like this light pink biker short sports bra that go together from Forever 21. I don't know if my video where I showed getting them like a little haul with Forever 21 is going up before or after this. Probably before. So you may have already seen and I know I posted it on my Instagram story in the olive green which I love. These are just like my favorites right now. I don't know if you can see the sports bra. But I just wanted to show you before I take them off because they're literally so cute. They're like thick and ribbed and stretchy and just like so comfy. wasn't my typical bath. This is the only time I've done this, but I need to keep doing this in the hot weather, like I've said for the millionth time in this video. It is just so dang hot out, and I felt like I was seriously just overheating when I got back from the pool in my bathing suit. So I ran right in here and filled up the tub with cool water. It was like a cooling bath, but it was so nice. It was like really refreshing because I was so hot. And you guys probably saw that I threw one of my whey chill pills in there. It's just like a little bath bomb. I usually will break these in half and then just throw like half in for the bath. I'm almost out but it's because they're so like fragrant they smell so good it's just really like relaxing you feel like you're in a spa so I love these and then after I soaked for a bit cooled off I showered my hair needed a wash so bad dry shampoo is like my best friend I feel like I'm embarrassed to admit it sometimes how long I will go in between washes for my hair I will literally go through like a can of dry shampoo a month that's why it's really important for me to use a detox shampoo like once a week I use this way detox shampoo it's funny because I feel like I've used this for so long now and only a little bit of it is gone, but it's so good at just resetting my hair, my scalp, to just a really clean and fresh state. Get out all the product build up the dry shampoo. You guys use a bunch of dry shampoo, hairspray products, and there's like product build up dirt oil in your hair that you're noticing. You should definitely try the Way Detox Shampoo since I am such a big fan. And I know if you go to theway.com, you can actually get refill pouches, which is so nice. Like I will just fill up this bottle with a pouch so it's even plastic, it's saving me money. Before I forget to mention, I know you guys can actually use my code Gretchen on the Way. Dot com, that's T-H-E-O-U-A-I dot com and you'll get 15% off your entire purchase. I also followed up with their treatment mask. I wish you could smell this through the camera right now. It's so good and this is the fine to medium hair mask. Since I actually have really fine hair, I don't know if you guys would know that I have a lot of hair but it's quite fine and like delicate. I feel like I've lost actually quite a bit of volume in the front if you notice just through damage with like highlights and things like that and also because it's so fine it gets so tangly so a mask is like such a must have for me in my hair to just keep the health, keep nourishing it, keep the hydration since I highlight my hair so much and since it gets so tangly, I use this leave-in conditioner or I literally cannot get a brush through my hair if I don't use leave-in conditioner after the shower. Like I'll just spray it a bunch in the ends, comb through my hair with a wet brush and may I just say, if you guys couldn't tell, this video is in partnership with Way, which is seriously a pinch me moment and just like a dream come true. Can I just have a moment to tell you guys how excited I was when they reached out? I'm like, you have to be kidding me. This is like on my vision board like Jen Atkin. I am reading your book right now if you guys saw. I'm almost at the end so I know you should read this. I love her book but Way is actually her brand so clearly I'm such a fan over here. It's just this much more exciting when I get to work with a brand that like I've purchased their products with my own money for so long now. Like my hand wash and hand soap that I have in all the bathrooms because they smell so good and they look like so aesthetic. Obviously the chill pills I showed you guys that I put in my bath. I also love I have this little jar of like their matte pomade. I'll get a bunch of like fly 
away little frizzies if I'm blow drying my hair, styling my hair, since it's so fine and damaged with the bleach. So I'll just use it to kind of like, honestly make it look like this just more smooth on top and not just have like all these little fluffy hairs. All right, I just needed a moment to like fangirl over here. These are like the moments on YouTube where I just feel so lucky to get to work with brands that I am such a huge fan of. So yeah, I just could not recommend the detox shampoo enough, especially if you deal with a lot of product buildup in your hair like I do. And all of their hair care and body care is cruelty free, sulfate free, paraben free. They're amazing. Again, you guys can go to theway.com and use my code Gretchen for 15% off your entire purchase if you've been wanting to try products for them. I'm so happy I have a code for you guys so it can save you 15% off. And now, well, first I'm going to fold my laundry since that's like a big thing for self-care. For me, it's just cleaning up. Yesterday, I actually vacuumed our whole apartment and it felt so good. Clean floors and clean hair for me, like there's nothing better. And also folded laundry that's put away and not out and just like looming in my head. So we're going to have a little laundry folding party and then I'm going to blow dry my hair. Blow drying my hair is such a big self-care thing for me. It just feels so good. I feel like my life is so put together and I have clean like blown out hair. I don't know if any of you guys relate to that. I just feel so much better when my hair is like taken care of. So yeah, now we're gonna go fold my laundry. our dinner it turned out so yummy looking i can't wait to eat this whole thing i am so hungry i didn't even show you how my hair turned out i'm realizing after i blow dried it oh it's just like my hair is naturally straight but when i blow dry it it just feels like airy and soft and smooth now you can see how like smooth and just like weightless it feels mm. and then i feel like when you have a bunch of products cut me out of the frame like on purpose heavy. i'm still here yeah it's all about me uh -huh. <laughs> Gear, you sure? But today's vlog is like self-care Sunday since uh. I like to pay attention to that on Sundays and I feel like a big part of that for me I was telling them one part is clean hair because I feel like the best version of myself but also cooking like a home cooked meal that's like full nutritious foods and not just like mm -hmm. a peanut Burgers. butter spoonful or like a bur yeah well that's like fine it's like home cooked but not just like i don't know yeah, i feel like any time you have burgers you just have a burger you that's don't have so like true. anything else with it yeah like mix in a vegetable so we have this like hello fresh it's pork chop the onion sauce i tried so good like potatoes green beans those are the foods that make me feel the best oh my gosh that just made the hair on my arm like stand up and scratched mm. your One neck. oh and the best version of me has her poppies because these are my favorite drinks ever and it's like healthy healthy soda and there's good stuff in there for you mm -hmm. do you know that yeah prebiotics people and it tastes mm. so good the raspberry rose one if you haven't tried these lemony snicker so good what's lemony the green bean because you put like a whole lemon on them half a lemon oh my god this is so good i think i'm just having this for dinner i could have like 10 of these a day mm. and my favorite flavor you want to sip I think I like that flavor too. I don't like the other one. Oh, it's so good. You don't like the ginger lime whenever I have that one. Mm -hmm. I like that one. But it tastes more, it kind of almost tastes like kombucha y to me. Mm -hmm. I don't like kombucha. Like healthy, like gingery. Maybe that's why it tastes like kombucha me because it's like ginger. I like a lot of the flavors, but the blueberry, you like the blueberry. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Get this and have a home cooked meal made with love because it'll taste really good and feel really good. Mm -hmm. Right? Tell them what you said when we were cooking. What is that? You remember? How a really good pot in yours? Oh. Did I say that? Mm -hmm. hmm. I don't know if you meant like in life in general or you meant just cooking, but. Yeah, uh, all of the above. Make a great team. Yeah. You just took Brody for a little, a little loop before eating our dinner and he's knocked on the ground right now. It's so hot out, but. Since it's dinner time and it's getting cooler, it's like feeling nicer. And another thing I do for self-care is go on walks. I always feel so much better if I go on a walk. I remember that one day in specific, do you know the day I'm talking about? And I felt like all over the place and just a mess. And I'm like, I am going on a walk on right now. <laughs> no, here, but probably there. Remember um, that one day you went And I was like freaking out. Over? 
Oh, and I walked like in the like seven miles ass, or something. Yeah. yeah, probably. But I remember in specific just one day standing right. out to me here where I felt like a mess and I went on a walk and it like helped me clear my head so much. So yeah. And with Brody, since it's so hot out, we have to walk him like really early in the morning or like later in the evening when the sun's going down or it's like way too hot for him. So little does the sleepy boy know he's getting a walk coming soon. Rest up, buddy. He's getting another walk. So sleepy. Yeah, he needs one. You guys have Goldens because everyone told us Goldens are so high energy. I mean, he is at times. But I think we got lucky with just a really like calm demeanor Golden because like we're dragging him on these walks. Like he is so tired. So maybe it's because he has a lot of stimulation here and we play with him. Mm. Stuff. Who knows? Anyway, I that's just all. show up. Eating dinner. What do you mean you just show up? <laughs> Guys, look at the sky right now. Oh. What? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we're going to drive right into the room. No. Oh, we're going to into the sidewalk. <laughs> what are you talking about? Bodie's coming with. We're going on a little adventure. Where ah. are we going? Basically, like I said earlier, Wretch and Garrity obsessed with three things in this life. One, bags. They don't also even know. known as cornhole. They don't even know my obsession. How Two. bad it is with cornhole. Poppy soda. Three. Where we're heading right now. <laughs> You'll have to stay tuned. I'm telling them because I was gonna say I wanted Rita's. Just oh, you're telling right now. Yep, I wanted Rita's. Max did not want Rita's, so we compromised and we're getting Rita's. <laughs> Rita's is a an essential. I said we could went in an hour, one hour. No, but no, 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 no. You had to have it now. Or Do you, you want to know why? It. No, I wouldn't have. You're gonna <laughs> sound so bad. I wanted to go now because it's so light out and so it would look good in the vlog for you guys. Everything I do is for you guys. It's for the vlog. I wanted my content to be more quality so it would be uh, light out. I didn't want to go when it was 10 o'clock because it would be like pitch dark out. You guys know what I mean? And it's an essential part of my self care routine. It really is because you have. Rita makes you happy. You have balance, you have your green beans for dinner, and then you get your Rita's. And. Is that how it works? Yep, and that's how you have a healthy, balanced life. Perfect. Good with me. And if you didn't know Rita's, it's the best thing ever here. I don't know where else they have it. It must, I don't know if it's just a PA thing, but it's basically like slushy Italian ice with... Sorbet. Yeah, they like call it different names or they call it like gelati or something, but it's basically like slushy Italian ice with like vanilla custard is what they call it too. On top, like vanilla ice cream. With, it's really good. I've tried it before. And it's a must have. And this guy is so cool. I think it's heaven, you guys. Look at it. How cool. What are those things called? Car Carpuscular rays? Carpuscular rays. I knew you were going to say that. Carpuscular rays. Because we're starting to do the thing that Lucy and I do. Where like we've been through so many similar. Hi Brody. We've been through so many experiences together that certain things make us think of certain memories, certain things. So like I was thinking carpuscular race, so like I knew that you were gonna. Okay, there's hair in my mouth. See ya, Oh yeah, here we are. Brody just had so much ice cream. Ha, huh, buddy. He's so happy right now. This is what's left of the Rita's, you guys. Sorry, it's mostly gone, but if you come here, you need to get cotton candy with a vanilla custard. It's so good. We just sat out right over there. I left my camera in the car, so you missed a lot of this. Yeah, we ate like all of it. So good. And like I said, necessary part, my self-care regimen. Rita's. Tired after your walk, buddy? Oh, and thirsty, huh? Oh yeah, tired boy. He is so tired after our walk. Okay, to put it into perspective for you guys, I feel like I've been complaining about the heat all day. It is 85 degrees and it's 8.30 p.m. That's another thing if you can see in the window. It's still light out, like the sun definitely is going down now, so it's like getting darker. But I feel like it doesn't get dark till like 9 p.m. now. It gets dark so late here. So you like keep feeling like it's early, but you're like, no, it's eight o'clock. It's just still like fully light out, if that makes sense. But I'm like sweating all over again. I'm, I need like a second shower because our evening walk was still 85 degrees at 8.30 p.m. Like this heat is craziness. I didn't even say, but this tank top is from Frankie's Bikinis. And then these little shorts are from Princess Polly. And then my white sneakers are just APLs that I got on Revolve. They're kind of dirty. Probably could use a little wash or a bleach, but 
I'm right there with you, buddy. So hot out. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do right now? Since it doesn't even feel like a Sunday to me, I don't know why. We've been having a self-care day, but I don't know why it doesn't even feel like Sunday. I am going to plan out my week because that makes me feel a lot better and reduces the risk that I will feel stressed, even though like I always feel stressed, it's like all in my head. Like I always feel pressured and like rushed to do something, but it's just like pressure I put on myself. I don't know if you guys relate to that, but I'm going to plan out my week. I always plan out my month at the beginning of the month. So like the month is pretty much already planned out, but I can kind of go in and say like, okay, now I know I have appointments at this time or now this is happening at this time. So I'm gonna film these hours, edit these hours, like kind of time back, go through my week. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. think I would be in <laughs> You weren't, but I could kind of see your ears, so hi. <laughs> but I wanted to tell you guys, I need off my self-care vlog since I'm about to go to bed. Sometimes self-care is not just like the hair masks and face masks. I feel like we all know that now. But you know what it really is for me? You would agree with this. Sometimes it's, it's like the discipline to take care of myself in the way that I need to be taken care of in ways that I can like sort of not take care of myself typically. For example, you will attest to this. I can be such a night owl when it comes to like mm. working or just in general, like anything. Like I can just make myself stay awake late. So for me, self-care is like having the discipline to make myself get in bed at a reasonable time and go to sleep and not keep working and being productive and doing things. So that's a big thing for self-care. For me is like getting to bed earlier and Max and I are huge believers. This is such a thing. You guys have definitely heard this too. Where like, even if I get nine hours, if it's between 2 a.m. and 11 a.m. it doesn't really count it's not like the same as if you go to bed at 10 p.m. and then sleep until 7 a.m. that would be so like you want to get your sleep on the front end that's what Max is Mm -hmm. We always say we want to get our sleep on the front end and then we're watching prison break and suddenly it's 1 30 and we're like Oh my gosh, we're gonna be like crap tomorrow So yeah getting my sleep on the front end and getting a lot of sleep is like a big thing for self-care for me I was also gonna say since it was such a hot day I can't believe I didn't but yesterday I was like chugging liquid IV liquid IV is such a self-care thing for me Just like having electrolytes always makes me feel so much better and so much more hydrated But I've been going through so many of my 40 ounce hydroflasks today because it's been that hot out so lots of water bed at a reasonable hour and minimal phone like this evening I just plugged my phone away plugged it in away from me that's the best way for me to just not go on it like I can't see it out of sight out of mind and I just feel a lot better when I'm not like a slave to my phone all day it feels like like I'm so responsive to my phone so reactive and you want to be like proactive you know or you want to be you know, people say you don't want to be reactive to your phone. I don't think the word is proactive that you want to be, but you you do. You want to like lead your day, not like be led mm. by your phone and reacting to things happening and emails and stuff like that. So anyway, that I'd end off my little self-care vlog here. Hope this helped. I love watching other ways people practice their self-care. I know for a lot of people it's like, taking special attention to their skincare routine or taking extra time doing those things and for me it's going to be right now so love you guys thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye